What is happening, everybody? MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video is the two thirds soccer strategy. Made a video about this uh, probably two years ago. We're going to dive back into it and look at it from a little bit different angle. Before we do that, as always, greatly appreciate the support on the channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, you want to learn about sports handicapping, the sports betting industry. Ton of playlists, ton of videos. Greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. If you want to follow me on social media, I give out a ton of information on my Instagram. It's MG Covers, cover spell with the Z. Also that same screen name on Twitter as well. So let's dive into this video. Before we do that, I want to give a little bit of context to soccer in general. This has been um, sort of a love-hate relationship I've had with soccer over the past, I guess two and a half years was the first, I made the first video, um, came up with a stat model for soccer and I've changed how I handicap soccer a lot in the last couple of years. And one of the biggest obstacles, and if you've wagered soccer, you already know this, is that the difficult is they are, you have three lines in soccer. You have the home team, you have the draw line, and you have the away team. So statistically speaking, Regardless of which one of those lines you wager, statistically speaking, you only have a 33% chance of cashing that ticket. It gives the sports books a huge edge. And I've even tried to do this with draws recently, um, back testing it. It was extremely profitable. A problem with when you're trying to, I guess, handicap a draw even though it's likely to occur 33% of the time, you're going to have runs where that win streak is going to go well below that 30%, making it difficult to profit <clears throat> long term. So something I made, I made a video about this a couple of years ago, and, and what I'm doing now is I'm applying how I currently handicap soccer full games. And, and I made a video about that probably back in September. I think I might put a video uh, link in the uh, description box. So you can see that. And I'm going to apply those concepts to what we call the two-thirds soccer line. So to simplify it, and I like doing that, is that we're looking at playing both the home line and the draw line and basically eliminating that away team. And the reason we're doing that, obviously speaking, that covers 67% of the possibilities that occur in soccer. And also, too, um, I'm at soccerstats.com just to give them a shout out. They started charging for their service now, uh, but it's very cheap. I went ahead. I gladly played it. It's a really good, if you're looking to build models, soccer stats is a great site to use. This is from English Premier League. And you can see here overall year to date, their home team has won 41% of the time. Draws happen 27% of the time. And the away team wins 33% of the time. So if you add up the home team and the draw team, I mean, it's perfect, right? 68%. You know, right there where it should be, away team winning 33%. So the strategy is we're going to play both the home side and the draw line. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into some examples. Now, what you're looking at over here on the left, this is my stat model that I use for soccer, and I'll explain this. So um, let me pull this up here. Whoops, is this going to mess me up? Yeah, I'm going to have to move myself here for a little bit. Okay, let me move myself down here. Okay. All right, so the first game we're going to look at is Preston here. This is the English Championship League. Now, to break all this down, this what you see here, this is my stat model that clients have access to. This is the first, and the green is the goal differential. I'll calculate goal differential a little bit differently than what you see on a lot of the soccer stat, soccer sites. I, I think it's very accurate the way, I think it's more accurate doing it this way. In layman's terms, the bigger the goal differential, the bigger separation between goals scored and goals against between those teams. So if you have a team like Preston, they have plus eight goal differential over their opponent, technically more likely to win. And then this is, of course, the money line itself. So this is minus 104. And ideally, the way that I started handicapping is, again, we focus just on home teams, and we're looking to where we have a strong possibility of the home team winning and also, we want the away team to have, you know, at least less, at least a 40% chance or less of winning that game, winning that match. Sorry. So, in this particular case, that is, that's the case. So, the, uh, Bristol City's plus 254. So, Preston is minus 104. 
and a plus eight goal differential. So next, let's go to the line and see what we have as far as the line goes. Okay, this was, yeah, yesterday. So you can see here the line is Preston minus 112, and the draw line is plus 257. So now the way you can structure this, the way we would structure this is we would play both the home side, which would be minus 112, and the draw line, which would be 257. Okay, and because what we've done is we basically eliminated the away side winning. All right, so and what we're hoping for in this particular example is we're wanting the draw to occur. And if the if Preston would have won this, well then it would just been a, basically a wash. Okay, but in this particular match, Preston uh, the match did draw. So we'll go ahead and write this in. So we would win 257 here. I'm just going to use $100 as an example, and and so we lose the 112. So we pay a little, pay a little bit of juice, and this is only going to work where, you know, I would say the home team probably minus 120 or less. There may be some situations where you could do a draw no bet, but then that takes us back to the same uh, situation to where. Um, you know, we only have one possibility of that ticket cashing with the uh, draw team. All right, so let's look at the next match. It's going to be Millwall. Now, Millwall, a plus two goal differential. So that's not great, but that's definitely not bad. Um, and again, I think, you know, going back to one of the mistakes I made when handicapping draws is that, you know, with that criterion-based model, all it, it has, it's a specific criteria, and we're not taking in consideration uh, the money line. We're not taking in consideration goal differential. We're not taking in consider, consideration of line movement, and I think all that's important, just like it is when you're handicapping any other sport. So we're going to factor everything, never overreact to one thing. So ideally, we would like to see this uh, minus 109 a little bit higher, but when you look at what we're getting um, here with the money line, we're getting we were getting plus two seventy two uh, for them to win outright, and the draw line was plus two oh six. So considering our line is minus one oh four, our opponent's line, um, I got it right, yeah, plus one sixty four. We're getting a ton of value um, on the home team. So in this particular example, we would simply play play both of those. And would win regardless. So 272 for the for the home team, 206 on the draw line, and of course uh, Millwall uh, won that one outright. But again, we still lose the um, draw line. So again, when we lose, remember we pay no juice. Okay, so uh, you know if, if if you lose that, you're just going to lose basically one unit or hundred or however you're calculating it. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at the next one here and this is a really 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 solid example you have derby county uh birmingham city derby county's a plus 13 goal differential minus 234 my line plus 364 for birmingham city and when we go up here and look you can see that yeah this is these were matches in the past and this is why this is a really great example the problem i have with soccer is that you know, we it looks like, you know, strong possibility that Derby should win this, but match ended in a draw. So same deal here with this particular example, we would play. But one thing we know, we've sort of, in a way, even though it was a draw, we've eliminated the very, it, very difficult for the away team to win. Again, we know that statistical prop, uh, probability, um, it very difficult for the away team to win in soccer. And we have minus 13 goal differential this team is plus three plus 364 and then when you look at what we're getting we're getting uh yeah plus 138 and 204 this one ended in a draw so we would lose the home side but win the draw team so we type in 204 here and again minus 100 there all right so that's basically um the premises and how it would work now I'll show you, let's take a look at this uh, Middles, 
Middlesbrough and Coventry City, uh, plus three goal differential. They were minus 158, Coventry City minus 159. So this sort of brings in the away side possibility of winning, even though they did not in this particular example, but just sticking true to where we're trying to eliminate that away side. Um, you know, maybe you could incorporate this and, you know, if you're a client watching this video, you might be able to test this. But for me, in the way that I, th I think the best way to do it is to totally eliminate that away side because the team is minus 159. Um, they're going to win. They're going to win some matches. So we want to completely eliminate that. So this particular match would not uh, fit the criteria. OK, let's go look at an example from the um, Greek League. OK. <clears throat> And this one's going to be, all right, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this uh, soccer team. So they're at plus four goal differential. Their opponent's minus four. Um, they are minus 104, and their opponent is plus 414. So all that fits the criteria contingent upon the line, the uh, what the line says. So let's take a look at the line here. Okay. Now, you can see here, we get excited because we see that we have 336 for the home team, 191 for the draw, and, of course, the away, away side is getting plus 104. Now, this would be a, a case where we would lose both the um, home side and the draw side, okay? So we would actually calculate this as that would be minus 200 on both of those. All right. Now, I do want to show you something. We didn't look at line movement uh, in, this, in those other examples, but that would be something when I'm, um, I'm actually going to do what I call ghost wagers, which I'm going to pretend like I'm actually wagering real money, and I'm just going to track it, which means I'm going to, right before game time, I'm going to you know, handicap the game, and I'm going to have me a tracker as though I was actually wagering. That's what we call ghost wagers, and it's a really good way to do it um, because then if you're testing it at real time, you have to make a decision just like you would be making if you were wagering real money. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, and again, I'm at oddsportal.com, really good site. And we scroll down here and take a look at, and again, we look at um, the Pinnacle book, one of the sharpest books out there. And I can't scroll up, but you can see there, if you look in that little yellow box at the bottom, it says 322. That was at 647. Look what happens to that line. That line moves all the way up to 358. So that line moved against the home team. So in this particular case, then we'll count it just for this example, just so we can see it. But if I'm handicapping the entire pie, as I like to say, we're looking at goal differential, line movement, money line, everything, line movement, this would potentially be a no place simply because that line is moving against the home side. And we want the line moving to the home side because that's the side we want to win. And considering this line's moving against the home team, that brings in that away team. Um, so this probably, in real-time handicapping, would be an example of a no play. So just, I mean, it's a very small sample, and it's something I'm going to test for about 50 wagers, and maybe I'll make a follow-up video just so you can see the results. And I think this is important to show things like this because um, if you want to do this on a professional level, everything I've ever created has just things that I saw, I wrote down, I'm like, hey, what if I try this? And then you track it. A lot of things that you um, sort of discover and you back test or you do what I'm calling ghost wagers where you test it in real time, a lot of that doesn't work. But occasionally you might find something that does work. Uh, we're in the middle of college basketball. Um, I was frustrated building my college basketball model originally. Um, it, had all, it had offensive, defensive stats. I said, I know this is not going to work. I took out offensive stats completely, and so all I'll use is defensive stats, and the rest is history. Very, very, very successful model. So a lot of times, just by grinding, uh, things you discover, test it, back test it, make some ghost wagers, you'll be surprised. Sometimes you can actually come up with a really solid model doing that. So if we add all this up, um, that's minus 512, and 733 gained so you end up netting out um let's see if i'm doing this right yeah so you net out 2.21 units again small sample so we don't know if this is going to work or not and normally i would make something like this a coaching video but wanted to share this with the entire community 
just to sort of give you an idea of how you can adjust a stat model, take what you currently have, and maybe create a different approach to handicapping the same sport. Uh, so we'll test this for about 50 matches and see where we end up. Now, if you want access to these power rankings you see here for soccer, um, you can get that uh, $49.95 per month. Gives you access to all my coaching videos as well as all my lines for college basketball. Um, we've got uh, Major League Baseball coming up here um, and uh, NHL and NBA. Uh, if you want access to all my plays in addition to all of my lines for all sports, that's $99 per month. And if you want to commit to an entire year, you save a ton of money, about $600 a year, and you can get everything on the site for $4.99 per year. And that the link to join is in the description box. If you like this video, give it a like, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.